All right, hello everyone, how are we doing today? My name's Spencer, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you my two Bobcat builds. I'm gonna be going over how much I earned in those two weeks, and I'm gonna be going over some of my thoughts and uh, tribulations that I have faced uh, mining. So let's get right into the video, and hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so here's gonna be my first build. And as you can see, it's just a five gallon pail full of concrete, with the grounding wire to the bottom, and it goes all the way up there. So, let's start from the top up. Starting from the top, that's gonna be an 8 DBI Rockland antenna, uh, which I bought from their website. It's gonna have Super 33 tape on it and zip ties, as well as U-bolts to hold it in place and keep it plumb. It is very important that you want the antenna to be as straight as possible. I've seen some videos of people putting them sideways and that's exactly not how you should do it. So make sure to have your antenna as straight as possible. All right, going down, the LMR cable is attached to that. And I just have zip ties and tape every so often to hold it uh, and keep it in place. Here's something I would suggest, and this is gonna be the metal clamp that you see right in the middle of your screen, right there, that little metal piece. I just have that strap strapped to the fascia of my roof. Uh, this helps it keep it sturdy. So, you know, down here, it doesn't move much. So I would highly suggest if you're gonna do a build similar to that, to have it strapped uh, at the top. All right, and as we work our way down, we see the LMR and ground wire right here. The green one's gonna be the ground wire. Black one's gonna be the LMR cable. The LMR cable is just gonna go through into my house and it's on the other side. My grounding wire, as you see here, I have zip ties to hold it in place. Uh, one tip for this is you're gonna always want UV resistant zip ties, especially if you're in a place like here in Florida where we get a lot of sun. UV resistant zip ties are not gonna have any durability loss when the sun's beating on it all day. So go down. And then right here, we're gonna see just the concrete, cheapest concrete I could get filled up three quarters of the way. And this, I have a PVC sleeve. So this is a 20 foot, actually 24 foot fiberglass mast, and it's in a three inch PVC sleeve just to keep it plumb. I taped the bottom of the PVC tube so it doesn't get any cement in there. Okay, so as we keep going down here, y'all, we have the grounding wire to the grounding rod. That's gonna be an eight foot grounding rod, and it's gonna be attached by a grounding clamp uh, for a quarter inch uh, grounding rod. All right, so yeah, guys, that's gonna be my first build. The build that I have at another location is gonna be very similar to this, so I'm only really gonna show you this one. I'll throw up a couple pictures right here, here, wherever, um, and I'll show you the other build, but it's basically the same concept, just a five gallon pail filled with concrete, PVC sleeve, and then a fiberglass mask running up. All right, guys, and here we are at the rewards page, and this is what everyone's been waiting for and what everyone wants to know. I made around seven coins in the past 14 days so that's roughly half a coin a day. I will say times like this uh, right here, when I only made 0.14, is when they pushed out the OTA update for Bobcat and it really messed me up. And um, it, it, it happened across all my miners. As you can see on the bottom here, I, have ten, I actually have 10 miners. And in another video, I will go over how they are all doing. Most of them I have not put in a big antenna so they're not doing really well and some of them I haven't even synced up so I have about five online right now and only three have actually good 8 dbi antennas and are using antennas different than the stock antenna but let's go back to Jaguar here we are so yeah days like on October 7th you know 0.01 it's sometimes they push out updates sometimes you know, you lose power, it takes a little bit to resync it. And so that's kind of what these days are. And unfortunately, you're just gonna have them. As much as I thought that I could just set it up and really not pay attention to it, you kind of still have to baby it every once in a while. I've probably visited this one uh, three or four times already, but in the, you know, in 30 days, ever since October 7th, and now it's uh, October 20th, you know, I've made seven point five one coins you can definitely tell when i upgraded the antenna right here i was only getting 0 0.2 0 0.0 you know 0 0.02 until boom upgrade the antenna half coin a day and some days you know i even get 0 0.82 
so that's doing really well. I'm overall pretty happy with that one. And as long as it doesn't keep getting knocked off the internet and giving me days like that, uh, I'm overall fairly happy. Even if it gets, you know, 0.32 coins, I guess that's something. And it, it really all adds up. You know, when I wake up and even if it's $10 or $20, I'm still happy that I pretty much earn money in my sleep and I didn't have to do anything for it. Uh, I do find myself having to check on them every once in a while, but I guess that's just going to be the standard from here on out. Every time they push out an update, it seems like they kind of get all wonky, but we'll see how that goes and hopefully they fix it. All right, guys, and now let's check out my other miner and see how that's doing. It is the same build as the one that you just saw in the video. Keep that in mind. And it's around the same height, but this one has a 5.8 DVI antenna. So just keep that in mind. So in 14 days, I made 8.37 coins. So just over half a coin a day. And, you know, again, on those days when the power goes out and comes back on and it takes a while to resync, um, you know, those days really can cripple you. But on the days that nothing goes wrong, boom, you know, you're making a coin a day, you're making 0.83 a day, over half a coin on almost all days. I will say it's really nice to be able to fast sync your miner. If you have a Bobcat miner, all you have to do is type in the IP address into a browser that is connected to the same network as your miner and from there you'll have an interface page to mess around with some settings resync it fast sync it reboot it and check on the status so it's really nice if you have a bobcat miner i'll make a video here coming shortly going over how to do all that and so just stay tuned so yeah guys 8.37 coins not too shabby uh, i'll take it you know, just the other day on the 18th, you see that they put out that update and it kind of killed me, the OTA update for Bobcat. So, you know, I'm kind of disappointed about that. And hopefully as soon as this gets more polished and um, the updates start kind of crashing my Bobcats, hopefully some of these days where I earn 0.25 will get replaced with, you know, some of these days where I'm earning almost a coin. So yeah, 8.37 on this one, guys. Uh, one transmit scale. So doing pretty good, I'll take it. Okay guys, and now we're gonna talk a little bit about my background and my thoughts on helium mining at its current state. So as you can see, I'm mining around half a coin to a coin per day with my miners. That's pretty good. Um, you know, I do remember when I first was ordering them, I ordered them on May 13th, and some miners in my area were making 425 a month. So, you know, it's definitely not uh, as lucrative as it once was, but also take a look at how many miners are coming on every day. I think May 13th, when I ordered mine, uh, I ordered 10 Bobcats May 13th, and I believe the total number of hotspots online was sitting at around 35,000. And now if we look at today, you know, it's well over 200,000, somewhere probably around 250 as I'm recording this. So if you take that into account, um, it still can be profitable because as more miners come online, you know, the rewards are going to dwindle a little bit. However, as this company gets built up, even though you might be mining half a coin a day, um, as the company Helium grows and those coins are worth more, you know, retrospectively mining half a coin a day when the coin is a um, hundred bucks hey that's not too shabby so that's what I think is gonna happen and I guess that's what I hope happens so now let's get into price speculation uh, I have been talking to some people that have decent connections within helium and they said that the company has good legs meaning it has uh, good investors in it that believe in the concept and also that they think the end of year price and take this with a load of salt, not financial advice. Um, but they were speculating that the end of year price could be anywhere from 40 to $60 with a five year price being around $500. So, you know, if it does reach that $500 mark and you're mining half a coin a day, that's really good. And I guess that's the momentum I hope to capture. And I also wanna remind you guys that POC 11 is coming. I do believe uh, Helium announced that it was coming out November 1st. It kind of got pushed back, but uh, they announced that it was coming out November 1st. So make sure you guys are ready. Um, I definitely have my miners already set up with the correct antenna gain and the antenna height. What POC 11 is gonna try to accomplish, for those who don't know, 
is eliminate spoofers. Right now, there's a bunch of people hacking the network and they're pretty much stacking miners on top of each other in the same room and they're hacking the location setting to make it seem like they're at optimal length and they're getting great rewards. So you have some people making uh, hundreds and thousands of dollars a day by hacking. So POC 11 is aimed to pretty much get rid of that. And what they're doing is they're gonna take into account your antenna gain and the antenna height that you have set in your settings. Right now, if you order a miner and plug it in, it's gonna say it's at zero feet, zero meters, and it's gonna have a 1.2 dBi antenna, even if it has an eight dBi antenna on it. So if you don't have your antenna gain and your antenna height correct, it might think you're spoofing. If you, know, if you have an eight dBi antenna, and it says it's a 1.2 dBi antenna, and you're reaching someone 10 miles away, the system's gonna think that you're doing something fishy and they're not gonna reward you. So make sure to have your antenna gain and the antenna height correct by the time POC 11 hits on November 1st. So yeah guys, those are gonna be my thoughts on helium mining. I still think it can be a great investment if you have a good location and you can get your antenna high enough and afford the investment. Never risk more than you can lose. And you know, this is not financial advice. You know, I'm still down money because I bought 10 of them and May 13th. And just now am I seeing the fruits of my labor. So it's still gonna take a little bit to recoup that. But once I do that, hopefully it's just gonna be smooth sailing from there and passive income. All right, y'all, last thing I do wanna hit on is gonna be the iHub affiliate program. And what the iHub affiliate program is gonna be is it's a hosting program. If you guys want a piece of skin in the game, but you guys do not wanna spend $500 and wait two, three months for a miner, iHub, the company, is willing to send you a miner and just for hosting it, they'll give you 25% of the miners' rewards. This is awesome because if you don't have the money to spend and you don't wanna risk it and you don't wanna risk money that you can't afford losing, hosting could be a great option to build the network, get a piece of skin in the game and have some fun with Helium and not actually spend $500 on a Bobcat miner or any miner. All right, y'all, that's gonna be it for me in this video. If you guys liked it, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos and how-to videos and uh, build videos. Like I said, I have 10 miners and I really only have three set up right now. So I'm going to be doing a lot more videos on that and telling you guys my experience and taking you guys with me on this journey. All right, guys, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and tell me what you thought about the video in the comments. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or send me a, a private message. Either one works and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. Appreciate you guys for clicking on this video. Have a great rest of your day.